Hello everyone, CQ the Kid here, and today we are playing even more Mother 3, but last episode we entered the Chimera Lab, and this episode, we're in trouble. We fought against a creature known as the Almost Beckett Lion, and we lost, almost losing our lives in the process. As you can see, we are barely alive. But there's one more, a creature so powerful that you just don't want to ever encounter it. I'm going to heal real quick, and then I'll be on my way. There are many unidentified objects here. Hmm. Once we enter here, we enter the danger zone. Oh my god, there it is. This is the ultimate chimera. Don't encounter it! Oh my god. You... You gotta be kidding me, oh my god. Uh, you want to stay off the floor that it's on. It is fighting pig masks. Oh my god! <sighs> like I said, that thing touches you. This is the ultimate chimera. You cannot encounter it. If you touch the thing, you will immediately die. Instant game over. All you can do is avoid it. You know when it's not on the floor you're on because there will be no music playing. You must wait until it goes to another room. I realize you haven't asked, but my name is Dr. Andonuts. I am being forced to conduct various sorts of research by a certain man. Currently, though, I am trying to conceal myself for certain reasons. I'm a bit preoccupied. Could you go back at a later time? Okay. This opportunity is so big that even a drop will fall on it. I'm gonna go out here and it's probably gonna be on this floor. No, it's not. Okay. The ultimate chimera has no stats. You cannot fight it. It will kill you. Immediately. The ultimate chimera, Kumara, whatever it's called. I make a quick falling from my aching stomach. You can say you can't find an aching stomach, so at least I'll see you. See ya. I just want to see if it's out there. It's not. So we, he didn't get killed. Basement floor one. Now, the ultimate chimera cannot enter certain rooms, it can only scour the hallways. Other than that, just don't go near it. You will die. You will die a very painful death. Hey, it's Salsa and Samba. Oh, they can jump on cages. This This cage is what held that ultimate chimera. Once we go up here, chances are it's on the first floor. It won't be in the room, thank god, it's only in the hallways, but yeah, this thing is actually terrifying. 
Oh my god, what the? Oh my god. I'm gonna just leave you. You can you go have fun. No problem, you're gonna just leave it at that, won't you? Okay, yeah, uh deal. Uh 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 There. Once you do this, you reach the end of the Chimera Lab. Because that heartbeat I just remember this chimera's weakness so I must have the courage up to come here it narrowly missed us it's a high-tech battery operated chimera in other words if we set the power switch on its back to off it will stop That heartbeat. That's not that Camara's. That's yours. That's Lucas. What are you doing? Salsa? There's a large button on its back. You need to press it. Come on now, be courageous. Use the dog as bait! Oh my god, the music! Uh, salsa! Also, just defeated the ultimate chimera. Thank you, lad and monkey. I think I'll use the opportunity to leave the military and devote my life to making all things happy. Oh, you agree with my idea? Thank you, dog. I'm sorry. I was merely driven by the bait thing. What's the balloons under the air? All wrong. Camara's gone. And Salsa has rejoined our party. He's the same level that you got him to. In my case, I believe he's level 18. But, like I said, there is no weakness to this Camara. That little yellow bird is the reason why it's invincible. You can't beat it. You can only avoid it. Fun fact, when you leave the Chimera Lab, I believe it's when you come back, there will be a hole in the fence. That is where the Ultimate Chimera will leave. But we won't need to worry about that thing for a while. Not as if your friends, Samba is up here, she is waiting, and we just need Salsa to do the dance. Okay. I remember correctly. Salsa, show us your dance. There we go. Thank you. And like that, Salsa is not going to be in our party anymore. Instead, well, I'm going to save. My heart is still beating so much. I can't believe it was that close. 
It literally ran into me. But we just got magic gloves, but Puma Tour's not in our party. Oh, wait! Whoa, awesome! You really did show up, Lucas! I brought a monkey. Oh, you're here too, Salsa? It's great to see you again! I didn't know you were alive! Yeah, they were gonna rip his head off and make him a chimera like everything else. How you been doing, love monkey? Hello? Oh. Oh my. What adorable visitors. Um, introduce me to them, won't you? Yeah, sure. These are my friends. This is also the monkey and his love monkey. Her name is Samba. This is Lucas the human. Bony the dog and Lucas the human. <laughs> Bony the dog. I like how... Because, yeah, it's true. We never called Bony's name out. We never said Bony's name at all, so... Of course, Kumatora wouldn't know it. Come with me. I'll show you where my needle is. I swear, this doesn't look like a girl at all, but... Because that story, one of the seven magipsies. He saved me. He! That's what fate had in store. Yeah. You see, here's the thing with the... Magipsies, they really don't have a gender. There's no he, there's no she. Hello. Hmm, a woman wearing red. Okay, so your needle, I'm guessing, is probably in the bottom of that pond with that yellow dot. The new guard is the bottom of this pond. My needle is much more painful to pull out. It's hard to believe you really have the power to pull the needles before you can even try. You need to move the water from this pond into that empty hole first. You know the Chimera Laboratory must have made? There might be some junk that could help us move the pond water. Why not look for something there? Alright, so I'm going to be cutting out these parts to show off to because you've already seen the area. As you can see... Almost like scrap paper. The red one! The red was fed and escaped! The ultimate chimera is on the loose. But really, you don't need to worry. It will not come and encounter you for a while. Trust me, you're safe. You're safe for now. I'll lend you a helping hand. Shoo. I wonder how Dr. Andronuts is still alive. How old is he? All these are funny, but if you want to get serious, it's this one. That one right there was just going to blow and then it's not going to do anything. It's a pump chimera. Certainly wants to be as interesting as this. Yes! Also, in case you couldn't tell, but you could just use the feet. Oh, yes, here we are. This will solve our palm water dilemma. I just know it. Now, this is beautiful sprite work at its finest. Look at him suck up the water. Look at that sprite detail they had to put in. This thing is amazing. Nintendo really went all out. And would you look at that? There's a needle. I was just going to swagger away so confidently. He leaves the stage with such a calm air about him. A natural air zone? What a Casanova. Bravo, Mr. Pump. There it is, that's the needle. One of the seven needles sealing the dragon away. And we're gonna pull it too. Can you really pull this needle like Ionia said? 
I'm not sure if I should be afraid or happy. A rush of emotions have become me. I can't believe I'm here witnessing this moment. Thump, thump, and another thump. Oh, there's Kamatora. I was wondering where she was. Okay, now pull it. With all your might. Right before my very eyes. Kumatsura, are you a Magency as well? Because it kind of looks like you are. I mean, both Magencies have pink hair, and that mustache that she has is the same color as Kumatora's dress. Doria. Yes, that's right. Because the needle will need more protection more than eagle and be pale when the time comes. So the needle finally needs more. The time has come. Imagine if she had lived our lives so that we can happily accept that fate when it comes. Don't worry, I'm not going to die. I'm simply going to follow fate and disappear. So we'll be a happy thing. I do have many fond memories though, and it'll be a little sad too. <laughs> yes, of course. Because, honestly, this Majesty is the creepiest I've seen. Uh. The world is shaking! What have I done? Just like that, Doria will begin. And yes, we can now ha use PK Love Beta. Now, PK Love Beta is a stronger variation of PK Love, more than Alpha. PK Love Beta will do around 230 250 damage to all enemies. It does about 100 more damage than PK Love Alpha. Tender girl, but wait a minute. Kumatoro called you a he, and now you're calling yourself a she. We got Doria's memento. If your inventory is full, then it'll simply be in her house. The next time you turn the game off and on. Thus, like that. I know told me this a long time ago. The dark dragon that sleeps under the island wakes up. All life and all time will be reborn. Maybe we can revive. I don't know, it's a stretch. I don't know what's gonna happen. We're gonna see things through to the end, Lucas. Can I come along with you? I wanna go with you. We had to hurry and find us with the egg of light, too. It would have been funny if we could say no and then Kumator would just get mad. I mean, we've seen Kumatora have rage fits before. So, so we just met again after all this time, but it looks like this is goodbye again. Oh, what's that look? You're such a sentimental monkey. Let's go. Let's go to that next needle. Okay. You and Love Monkey take care now. Oh. Huh? What is it? A nut. We got a single nut. See you again if we ever get that chance. Aw, look, he's happy! That's the first time I've seen Salsa ever smile. A real smile. And Samba kinda looks creepy. Just like that. Needle's been pulled. Next time on Mother 3, well, first things first, I better get to a save point. Nope. Squeak, squeak, whoa, whoa, whoa. hold it right there. Just where do you think you're going? Alright, we're not in this episode off yet. We haven't gone to 20 minutes. The squeaks is not really anything. He's level 25 with. 320 HP. He's kind of just your excuse to use PK Love Beta as soon as you get it out the door. And for Kumator and Boney to just punch him. And yeah, he's dead. He doesn't give you anything. He gives you 23 GP. He doesn't even drop any of that cheese yet. 
I'm humbly apologize for my rude egotistical attitudes. Despite being so weak, back on the highway I was known as the hippest cat around, but I'm just a pathetic excuse for mouse. All the girls dug me, but definitely no fighter. Do you want me to remember who I really am? I wonder if my wife and seven kids I left on the highway are doing okay. He was weak enough that he would lose to mole crickets. Yeah, that's the reason why there's no chimeras around, by the way. So I'm going to enter the chimera lab and I'm going to save. You can now freely explore here. If you keep sauce in your party, you can also get some interesting items, but they're nothing much. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. I'll see you all next time for even more Mother 3. See you all next time.